It's the quarterfinals and there's everything to play for as our contenders return once again to face the might of the Gladiators. You thought it was tough last time, you ain't seen nothing yet. Here's the highlights. Finished. I'm tough against Katie. Um, I was really happy with the way I done the races up there. It felt really easy. And then I managed to grab Katie, got my legs wrapped around her, gripped on tight, but she was squirming, she was kicking, trying to get me off. It was so hard to keep a hold. I ended up sliding off her, but it was incredible that she managed to keep a hold of her grip with the battle axe hanging on her. To keep going to the other side and get her 10 points, they were well in 10 points. So all credit, Katie. Gladiator got me, wrapped around me, and managed to shake him off, but this time, I was too busy celebrating last time, but this time I thought, swing straight to the other side, and I managed to do it in time, full 10 point, in spectacular style, brilliant. To mark the momentous occasion of me actually getting on Gladiators, it's just been so special and so brilliant, I wanted to remember it for the rest of my life, every single day I got myself a tattoo. Caroline's used to climbing ladders for part of her job, so she was quick up that wall. A bad day for me, she got lucky. I am totally, totally excited. I've just come off the wall and I got to the top and ice never even touched me. Ten points. Yes! I'm an athlete. Short memory, that's what you have to have. I raised it from the memory, you know, get on with the next one. So you'll have to, I don't know, read up about it or something, because I can't remember what happened. Three seconds into it, I thought I was coming off. The Gladiator Slayer! Oh. <laughs> Get him out! I was going back, I thought, I'm just going to give him a big hit here. And the big hit rocked him, and then that was it. I just sort of flicked his nose as he went off, and he went in. And then I fell onto his platform, so thank God he went in the water. Well, I mean, I got, I got 10 points in the first one, unfortunately. It was through disqualification. That one, I got uh, the 10 points for knocking him down. When I heard that I was taking you on at Powerball, I started salivating at the prospect, do you understand? Because the last time, I humiliated you and made the ground want to swallow you up, brother. And I'll tell you something else, six is still a long way from ten, my man, and you are still the ultimate champion! I got six points, which is better than last time. You know, improving each time, which is good. Um, Oblivion keeps calling me a chump. It's really starting to get on my nerves, um, but uh, you know, I've scored more points, which is the main thing, so yeah, pretty sorry, that's pretty sorry. Woo! What a quarter final we've had today! It's been amazing. Where should we start? Let's start with the females, okay? Caroline has a three and a half second lead over Katie, so the firefighter will go into that event with the upper hand, but Katie is a strong, strong fighter. We saw her win last time, packed with emotion. She was in tears when she finished. Can she reproduce the same performance again? in the men's duel. Absolutely amazing. With the men, John has a slight disadvantage because Jonathan has a one second head start, but however, John is so good on the overhead handbike. Jonathan's strong. I'm not gonna call it, it's far too close. Let's wait and see what happens.
didn't, didn't even believe I could get there, but so thank you so much for all my support. Oh, I wouldn't want to do that again. You don't have to do it again. Not against nice. Tim, I'm not doing it again. Do it against me. That's all right. So we've got ourselves six of our semi-finalists. All we need are two more, but who will they be? We're only a week away from finding out. See you next time.